So one of the things that I found from my experience with starting a YouTube channel, because uh, this is the second channel I started, the easier you can make stuff, the more likely it is you're going to make good content and um, you know put more effort in and, and just get out more and make more stuff because it's easier to do so. Since I started this channel, I have been using the GoPro Hero uh, 7 and the Hero 11. Let's forget about the 7 for now because it was only a B cam and uh, you know the 11 was my main camera. So let me tell you about the GoPro Hero 11. It's very windy at the moment by the way and also I'm going to put all the settings that I'm using for this setup on the screen now so you can just take your time and view them and uh, see what you think including the microphone and everything I, I have set up I'll show you some uh, photos of, of the actual setup itself so the GoPro 11 is great it, sound, it, it looks really fantastic um, it had 10 bit color uh, it graded well it was reasonably okay in low light not that I film much in low light but it had so many just hassles that I was over um, and it just kind of made it difficult to shoot with with this specific kind of video so you know when I'm talking about a lot of the complaints that I have about the GoPro Hero 11 uh, only apply to like moto vlogging specifically so take that into account you know if you're using the GoPro Hero 11 like anybody else you know like for a travel camera or whatever underwater camera it's fine I, I paid full price for my GoPro and I paid full price for this Osmo Action 4. So with the GoPro Hero 11, it was great, like I said. Amazing image quality, looked really nice, lots and lots of accessories, great mounts. The issues I had, firstly, overheating. Now it didn't overheat to the point that you see with like Canon cameras. <laughs> Let's get past that one. It didn't hit overheat to the point where it would like shut down ever, never did that. And it was fine if you were riding, like if I was riding like this, it was fine. But you know, when I'm doing a bike review, I would stop and get off the bike and then film a walk around um, you know within like one two minutes of stopping and not having any wind flow hitting the camera it would it would fog up really badly um, I tried all sorts of stuff with that anti-fog um, different lenses all kinds of stuff and it just wasn't I couldn't fix it not a huge deal but it was pain I had to kind of stop and then take the lens off and let it cool down a little bit Actually, it really was a huge pain and I got sick of it. <laughs> um, I don't know if this one's going to do it yet, but we'll find out pretty soon. The other issue I had was reliability. They're just a pain in the ass. Like the amount of times that you go to press record and it, it was like it would freeze up or more commonly you'd, you'd turn it, you'd press the record button to turn it off and it would just like freeze and you couldn't do anything until you stopped and uh, took the battery out or you know and then you probably lose the file like just so many dramas reliability in general the gopro 11 or any of the gopros i've had honestly has been quite poor that leads on to the next point which is audio which is a you know i kind of had a method for it but if you've listened to any moto vlogger that uses a lapel mic that goes into the gopro directly without using like an external recorder like uh, chase on two wheels does uh, which is definitely the best way to do it if you want quality but it's a pain in the ass it didn't have any gain adjustment and there was n i tried so many mics i tried the purple panda one i tried the giant squid mic which i'm using now i tried some sennheiser ones that i had and i had i tried the road ones that i had uh none of them work unless you get like an extra adapter that has like a little dial volume control on it more hassle bad audio just because there was no gain adjustment um, and I'm a bit of a fussy dude with audio I really want really really clean audio the other thing with audio is you obviously have to either have an adapter on the side of the camera or a, uh, a media mod I ended up going with the media mod but it makes it way bigger than this setup that I have on my camera now I can't even see the camera now before I went on the same mount I could see the GoPro quite clearly in my vision so the size difference was massive. I hate it when people cut corners like that. And lastly, the battery life was kind of average. Um, you know, I would need two batteries to do like a 45 minute ride um, up to an hour. I'd, I'd probably get two batteries. And yeah, but other than that, <laughs> I, mean, I say other than that, but they were real hassles and I just got so tired of it. Um, I'm sure other people have had better experiences with the GoPro 
this is just my honest opinion. I'm not exaggerating. I'm just telling you guys the facts. And uh, yeah, that was my experience. So I watch um, Dork in the Roads videos. He really love his channel. He's so good. Um, seems like a really nice guy, really honest. And he's using the Insta, you know, Insta One RS or whatever. Uh, and I looked at that. I didn't. I wasn't really sold on it, but I still think it's probably a better option than the GoPro. So then I tried the Osmo Action Three, and I don't know. I just I didn't really like the picture that much. It wasn't wide enough. The stabilization wasn't as good. I didn't like the colors as much. Anyway, I didn't like the Osmo 3. I'm just going to cut to the point. Now I have this Osmo Action 4 and I fucking love it, honestly. It's so good. Um, being able to have the negative gain control. I, I don't think so. I've tried it out at home. This is the first ride I've had with this microphone. Uh, and the setup and, and the settings and everything. I just picked up the adapter today. I'm just riding to the studio now to meet somebody. So I thought I would try it out. But having the negative gain, so I, there shouldn't be any peaking in this audio. It should be perfectly fine. Um, having the the mount, the, the kind of magnetized clip mount that the Osmo Action System has is so good. Having to take the camera off the GoPro because I had to have it quite tight. So I was like screwdriving the mounts on. And then you have to take the camera out of the, the media mod, you know, and it was just... If just to change the battery, you had to take the camera off the mount, take it out of the media mod, change the battery, put it all back in, plug the mic back in, mount it back up, and it was just a pain. I'm, I keep going back to how much of a pain the GoPro was, and this is not supposed to be a trash session on the GoPro. <laughs> but yeah. So having, having audio control having the smaller size, better battery life, the different mount system, the new ND filters, it's the only thing I don't have yet, I don't have the ND filters, waiting for those, oh, the 10-bit D-Log, if you know how to color grade, it's definitely something you're going to want to use, there's just so, so many benefits to this camera, I, honestly, I'm losing track, I didn't make any notes, this is just like a first test for it, and trying out the audio and stuff, so I'm just about here at the studio, and um, I don't even know if it's still recording. Oh, it is still recording. I was like, oh, fuck, it's screwed out already. If this test works and the audio is not peaking, oh, and having the, um, I'm going to be so stoked. And, but also having the, I got the adventure combo, so it has the three batteries with the charging case, like the DJI mics. Oh, it's so good. Oh. 